I removed almost everything from my PFSense. So take a look, there is even no CA. I want to start from scratch. I will create a new CA. Give it a name. We do not have to change anything here. You can adjust or tweak all these solutions, but that sounds like a really good place to start. Save. Now we need a certificate for our PFSense firewall. So we'll issue a certificate for ourselves really here. I will use the IP address of my firewall. I will use the external IP address, in a way, public IP address, 10.10.10.240. IP address. You've seen this process already. We have to remember to change this certificate to server, because this is for a server, not for a user. Save. We go to IPsec. Mobile client, you have to make sure that this option is enabled. You specify a pool of IP addresses that you will use for your clients. And that's it really. When you save, PFSense is going to recommend creating Ike Phase 1. Let's give it a go. Phase 1, we want to use Ike version 2. In here, do you remember? MS Chap version 2, this is what we want to use. My certificate is here, the one that I created a minute ago. Proposals, encryption standards that I want to use. I recommend you add as many as possible, even if something is not secure, like SHA-1 should be avoided. Or here, the Fiherman group, you know, 1024 is not recommended. Why would you do that? Well, you want to make sure that you can establish this VPN tunnel first. Then you can tweak it and make it more secure. This is how I approach it. Okay, that looks good. We can save. Apply. We can add Ike phase two now. The same process. Local network, that looks good. Again, yeah, three days is not recommended, but you say, okay, let's leave it for the time being. Allow everything. We can come back and tweak it later. We'll turn off PFS. PFS allows you to renegotiate your keys. We'll disable it for the time being. Save. We go to pre-shared keys. I have a test user here. When we go to firewall and rules, you can see a new tab here, IPsec. That was created by PFSense two minutes ago when we created Ike Phase 1 and Ike Phase 2. Okay, now we have to save our certificate. We have to tell our PC it's okay to trust this CA. Let's open this file. Install. I want to tell my PC it's okay to trust CA1. Finish. OK. VPN settings. Connect. Here we go. We are connected. We know this tunnel is up and running. We can go back and confirm that. We can see Ike phase one, Ike phase two. All looks good. What was negotiated? A yes, SHA. That looks good, to be honest. Maybe this one should be a bit more secure, but I wouldn't complain about that. As far as I know, by default, Windows doesn't support anything better than that. 
So if you want to tweak it, you have to use PowerShell and tweak all these options. Let's try on Windows 11 to make sure we are good to go. We will install the same cert. VPN settings. Connected. Ike version 2 is up and running.